After 12 days of sailing in the most treacherous waters and toughest route yet in this Volvo Ocean Race 2012, the boats converged on Sanya, China, for an exciting finish to Lake 3. Telefonica, the overall race leaders, crossed the line at 0358 UTC, extending its lead and becoming the first boat since the Peter Blake Steinlager II in 1989-90 to sweep the first three legs of the race. We are very happy. Winning three legs is something you dream of when you start any race. Everything is going well for us and we need to take advantage of that. Blue Palmer followed in second, having challenged Telefonica for the lead until the final day. This leg was meant to be the least favorable for us because of these conditions in which Groupama 4 is not as fast. It's not what is ideal for us, but in the end we have sailed with the rest of the fleet, always being present. We were constantly fighting to be among them. Kemper took third place. Skipper Chris Nicholson disappointed as his boat approached the finish. First and second are gone. Hopefully we row into China for the third. Yeah. So, another podium, but not the Got to keep going the other way, higher up. Puma picked up fourth after skipper Ken Reed split from the fleet earlier in the week in a bold move to gain on the leaders. We were disappointed in a fourth place, it appears, finish, but uh, uh, you know, clearly one tactical call that didn't work out for us. But at the same time, I think the, the team has done a great job of battling. Uh, it, it's easy to give, believe me, it's so hot and it's so easy to give up in situations like this when things don't go your way, but that didn't happen. We've had a really good uh, effort the last 48 hours to come back in ahead of Abu Dhabi and camper uh, visible on the bow. So uh, too little, too late, but at the same time, um, we just have to keep getting, trying to get better. Abu Dhabi pushed to try and take fourth, but came up short, notching a second straight fifth place leg finish. We got quite close to Puma about 24 hours ago. They were always sort of 10 or 15 miles ahead of us, um, but we had a little little whiff of uh, getting into them, but uh, unfortunately it's not panned out, so um, I think we're 15 or 20 miles still behind them. So not many options, so yeah, we're just um, about eight hours sailing. I guess the only thing you can say is it's always good to reach port. In the end, the day belonged to Telefonica as they celebrated in true Chinese style.